Now I'm not so sure if I'd recommend this workout. and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a video that took me a month to make and it is where I tried the Emmy Wong workout every single day for 30 days. Her workout is a 10 minute HIT workout and HIT is H-I-I-T and it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. It's basically a more efficient way to work out. In 10 minutes you're trying your best to burn as many calories and they're like high intensity workouts so that even after you stop working out you'll still burn calories because your heart will be beating really fast. It amazes me when I hear that people spend like an hour and a half in the gym like and sorry about the messy background in my defense this is my brother's room. I thought it'd only be appropriate to give you guys some background on just my workout schedule routines and where my body is at. I am very active in sports I play them every single day and that definitely keeps me in shape like I used to be a lot chubbier. <laughs> I am Asian, slightly petite, like I'm 5'3", and I'm pretty sure I'm not growing any taller. A lot of times people are like, you're 12, why are you worrying about this? But I kind of have reached that point where your height stops growing, so I can really work on specific parts of my body. But without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So I filmed myself recording like everything, measuring my waist, measuring my arms, and I have all my measurements in my notes on my phone, but somehow the footage got deleted. I'm really bad at organizing footage, really upset about that. I'll be letting you guys know what my arms and waist is right now so my waist was 28.5 inches my left arm was 12 inches and my right arm was 11.5 inches my butt is a 38.5 i'm pretty sure it's been like that for a while my left thigh is 22 and three quarters of an inch and my right thigh is also 22 inches and three quarters this is actually the first time that i've like measured like my before and they've been like somewhat equal my thighs and arms are always different. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get on into the torture. not looking so cute right now. The workout, I literally started panting on the first workout. It was like the jumping jacks. It was good, my heart rate was at like a 140 consistently, which was lower than it is when I'm playing basketball, but like higher than my other workouts that weren't HIT. Um, but we burned 85 calories in total. The thing with HIT workouts is that like, it's supposed to like burn calories even after the workout. This was challenging in a lot of different areas. I didn't like really feel my arms getting worked out, so we'll see if I have results in my arms, but my arms didn't hurt that much. I'm not doing too hot right now. I got back from basketball at like nine. It's really late and I had school basketball practice today, ballet, and then another basketball practice. And I just feel overexerted and not okay right now. But I know that if I skip this workout, I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. So I'm gonna pull through. It's just 10 minutes. I know I can survive through it and I'm gonna be so happy that I did it in the end. I know it's basically gonna be impossible, but I really hope I don't sweat during this workout because I just took a shower. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that it looked like a teenage boy running at a sleepover? Hey guys, it is currently like 11 p.m. Usually I would just skip this workout, but every time I skip it, I never end up making it up again. So I know I gotta do it. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. Hey guys, I just got back from a basketball training clinic with my AU team. I am really tired and can we just talk about what a mess my room is? Stronger. 
The squat post at the end is getting a lot easier. It's like I'm sometimes I'm bloated, sometimes I'm not, so I don't know. I don't mean to shade Chloe Tang, but I honestly really like Emmy Wong's workout better than the workout I did like two months ago from Chloe Ting, and they're the same length, but Emmy Wong's workout only has I basically went on on this dumb tangent about how I liked the Emmy Wong workout better than the Chloe Ting workout, but now that I'm looking back on this, I only liked it better because it was easier. about coronavirus hey y'all i'm so sorry to inform you that today i will be skipping the emmy wong workout just because like i'm literally dying i got really sick because i was walking outside to my basketball game and i definitely wasn't wearing enough clothing thank you for understanding Hey guys, and today is the last day of this 30 day Emmy Wong workout. So we're just gonna bust it out for 10 minutes. I feel like I was facing a lot of results in like the third week and I just feel like it's been going downhill since then. So I definitely want my next workout to be an arm workout. I mean like I'm not super insecure about my arms, but I just feel like they could do better. Let's see what you can do. You think it's so damn smooth. We did it ladies and gentlemen, we are finally to the last step, the most satisfying, rewarding step, and that is our after measurements. I'll be measuring my arms first. My left arm was 12 inches before this challenge. My arm is now 11 inches. My right arm was 11.5 to start this challenge. Now my right arm is 10.5 inches. On both arms, I lost a whole inch. They're kind of uneven, but like that's fine. Now we'll be measuring my waist. I feel like the waist is always like the most like suspenseful part. I feel like I made no progress, but we'll see. My waist is a 28 without like sucking in and stuff. So I lost about 0.5 on my waist, which is like pretty good, but I mean, I did lose more in like an ab workout. I'm starting to feel like this workout doesn't have as good results as my other ones. My left thigh used to be 22 and three quarters of an inch. My left thigh is now 21.5 inches. My right thigh also used to be 22 and three quarters of an inch. So let's go measure that. My right thigh is about 22.5 inches, so I only lost like a quarter of an inch on this one, and they're like kind of uneven, which is weird. Like, I don't know why that happened. And the last thing to measure is my butt. I feel like my butt shrank, if I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to measure it off camera because it's kind of hard to measure it over these shorts. So my butt used to be 38.5 inches, and now it's 37.5. So we shrunk, and I'm not super surprised about this because the workouts, there were really none that were working like the glute. Now I'm not so sure if I'd recommend this workout. But I still am proud of myself for getting it done, and I think I got a lot stronger. Like, I think my arms got a lot stronger. I think that's, like, the best part of this workout for me is that my arms got a lot stronger throughout the planks and stuff. Throughout the burpees, I was like, wait, I can actually do this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Yes, it kind of hurts that I lost an inch off my butt, but we'll be working this whole rest of the next month on getting that back. I just don't want my body to be, like, a straight line. There's no hard feelings, and I'm truly, really confident in who I am and my body and that is not just who you are and what's inside is so much more important don't forget to like subscribe and comment and follow me on my instagram and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.